I'm a wild green guy living under the bed. I got a little sock before you turn your head. Like a boat to light. I'll make your heart jump. My name is Mr. Bumpy. I go bump, bump, bump. Yeah, bump. Bump, bump, bumpity, bump. Everybody bump. Bump, bump, bumpity, yeah. He goes a hundred miles an hour. He drinks dynamite. His name is Mr. Bumpy. He goes on and then die. It's Bump with Squishy. He's my very best pal. Bump with Molly. She's my favorite gal. Bump with Closet Monster and Destructo too. But those guys don't bother Bumpy. He knows what to do. Say bump. Bump, bump, bumpity, bump. Everybody bump. bump. The ceiling above on the rug, and you can bump too from the east to the west. Just bump with the monster you love best. Bump, 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 Serves up at Squishy's Water Wonderland. This is the only way I can imagine Mr. Bumpy ever getting in the bathtub. Okie dokie, I filled the tub this morning, so the water should be good and stagnant by now. <gasps> Last one ends up. <laughs> Rotten egg. There seems to be a certain lack of the fluid medium in our swimming experience, he said dryly. Hello, what is this? <clears throat> Excuse the inconvenience. Water turned off until tomorrow. Signed the plumber? <gasps> no water! <laughs> oh, oh, this must be some kind of cruel hoax or imaginary dream sequence or song prelude! Please tell me it isn't so! <laughs> <laughs> Relax, Buttermine. Oh, let me get you one on the city to calm your nerves. <laughs> well. <laughs> no water. Just imagine a world without water. The merciless sun beating down upon a barren planet. Baking it dry, sapping all life. Your parched lips peeling and cracking from off your desiccated leathery face. And finally, total dehydration. The evaporation of everything. Fix your pal of mine. Try a swig of my favorite thirst quencher, sweat sock squeezins. Ah. <laughs> Ew, Mr. Bumpy. Well, that didn't work then. Well, how about this? Even I question the hygienic nature of this solution. <laughs> Oh, oh, Mr. Bobby, I can hear, I can hear you. Come on, come on. Oh, all right, now uh, calm down, Squishyton. You, you got that look in your eye. <laughs> Hold on, pal. You're getting the feverish. Hey, I'm squishing here. I'm squishing here. <laughs> I gotta get some water for my pal, but where? The refrigerator? Now that'd be too easy. Let's see. Oh, I know. Off the drainage shell, it's getting dry. Your protoplasm's starting to solidify. You look to me like you're in lots of pain. There's just one thing I'm gonna promise you. I'm gonna have to try to liquefy your goo. To save you, pal, I'm gonna make it rain. H2O. Drier 
Then I'd rather stick a firewood I feel just like an egg that's gonna fry Oh my! If my fever rises high, I'm gonna catch on fire And I'll end up singing in a heavenly choir I feel my friend, I'll have to say goodbye And that's a long goodbye Ouch! It's too old, let the water flow It's too old Surprise myself, pal. Uh, say, you uh, got a bottle opener? No. Don't you? Uh-uh. seem a far way to go just for a snack. My tummy's been grumbling for something special. Well, that last tummy grumble set off every car alarm on the block. Hear that? It's calling for a special treat. <sighs> a clogged drain hair and toenail sundae. Nothing finer. I've got the clog drain hair in the toenail clippings. Now, all I need is the ice cream. What does a drain hair and toenail sundae taste like, Mr. Bumpy? Well, it tastes like a scoop of Rocky Road over at Dr. Boyle's foot support. Only cruncher, of course. What the hoot at? The ice man must have come if Mr. Bumpy were frozen out. Bump that noise. It'll be a cold day in Helsinki before I let a little hard water come between me and a toenail Sunday. <laughs> Always follow the manufacturer's recommendations when defrosting. Hey, let's make some H2O. Whoa. <laughs> this ice is thick as a brick. Take 
Your weapon's off. It's done. Do you think we should file an environmental impact report? Hmm, there's a woolly mammoth frozen in here. Oh, don't you recognize a turkey when you see one, Mr. Bumpy? He's the greatest straight man on TV. Sure, and there's one holding my feet. <laughs> there's nothing in here but pistachio soup. What dummy let the ice cream melt? What's it? Who's that? <laughs> Mr. Bumpy! The turkey is breathing! Nah, that bird's goose is cooked. No, no. I saw a movie where a caveman came back to life after being frozen for a kabillion years. A kabillion years is one thing. Being plucked is another. <laughs> Mr. Bumpy. It's alive! He's flown a cube! Look at that turkey trot! Cool! Snacks and the show! Oh, this is terrible! What kind of holiday will the boy have without a turkey dinner, Mr. Bumpy? We hadn't thought of that one. We better hunt that bird down and bring it back alive. You know, whatever state it was, never mind. He sounds close by, Mr. Bumpy. <laughs> You got something, Mr. Bumpy? Yeah. <laughs> Rug birds. Maybe we should try some bait. I know a turkey call. Pigeon, Mr. Turkey. Pigeon, Mr. Turkey. Please pick up the nearest white courtesy phone. Pigeon, Mr. Turkey. Quick, hide. Your time is up! Man, he took my best shot and scooted. That was funny colored gravy. It wasn't gravy, it was applesauce. Give me that. Applesauce, Mr. Bumpy. Any fool knows that turkey goes down best with cranberry. <laughs> Careful! Turkeys are even more dangerous when they're cornered. What? What, what will he do to us? Hmm. He could peck us with his razor-sharp beak. But, Mr. Bumpy, he hasn't got a razor-sharp beak. He hasn't got a beak at all. Okay, he could scratch us with his deadly talons. No talons either. Tickle us with his downy tail feathers? Nope. Right. What could he do to us? Well, he could push a heavy object off a dresser and squash us flatter than a tortilla. But that would take brains, and he hasn't even got... Uh-oh. You know, all things considered, that bird has quite a head on his shoulders. <laughs> Our quarry approacheth this. Now, Mr. Bumpy, now! <laughs> Look, Mr. Bumpy, she rises! Fasten your seatbelt, Squish. We're going for a ride! <laughs>
one gutsy gobbler. He's certainly no chicken. Hmm. Well, I, I don't see him anywhere. But he's got to be in here. We looked everywhere else. I mean, he can't just vanish into thin air. Turkey, 12 o'clock high! Oh, this is impossible. Turkeys can't fly. Tell him that! T turbine, turbine, turf. Oh, here it is, turkey. Let me see, member of the pheasant family. Na -na -da 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 yeah. Native to America, I know that already. Light me door, door. Ah, um. Here it is. Bred for maximum weight, the domesticated turkey is aerodynamically incapable of flight. Ergo, turkeys can't fly! <laughs> the encyclopedia does not lie! Turkeys can't fly! Jump on it! He's ready to go back to the freezer now. <laughs> You've done it, Mr. Bumpy. You've knocked the stuffing out of this turkey. Why are you stopping, Mr. Bumpy? Well, I can't do it. I just can't put him back into the deep freeze. Why not, Mr. Bumpy? Oh, look at him. This is no ordinary turkey. Why, this bird has the heart of a lion. Yes, and the giblets, too. So true. Well, you've earned your freedom. Go on, get out of here, you big galoot. Prosper, my flash frozen friend. Oh, Mr. Bumpy, where will he go? What will he do? Well, this is the big city. There are thousands of jobs just waiting to be filled by a turkey. If he can learn to tie a necktie, we all may be working for him someday.